Yeah, hello, welcome to Global Peace by 2027. This is special 40 day prayer condition global for the peace in Eastern Europe and the ultimate global peace by 2027. As we have the fourth one condition, uh, let's go traditional with Messiah second coming words. Uh, but before we start, please think today at the end of the meeting to choose a topic for this week. <laughs> Okay. Last week was peace and action, and let's think another one at uh, the end of the meeting. Okay. okay. So we okay. all have to come to the point of inter interacting with each other with true love, knowing that this is the shortest road to attain world peace. Any one of us who insults or is hostile to our neighbor cannot contribute to world peace or God providence. Yeah, world is full of this nowadays. The world of today is awash with problems. To stop the rush toward corruption and immorality and ingrain in people the way of goodness, we need to establish a true sense of values and the corresponding standard of universal morality. We have to call together all people of conscience and deep faith and educate them to be the workers of true love of our eternal God workers who can practice the true love of God and true parents, regardless of age or gender. So many people throughout the world today are starving for true love. In other words, they are waiting for true love, true people to emerge who are able to live for the sake of others. If we can establish the tradition of true love, all religions will be united. God and all humanity will be united, and our new hope, uh, God's original intended ideal of creation, will be fulfilled. Then let us push forward with the established ideal world, which Jesus also thought. Let us show the world and our young people that a new age of peace, an age of true families, and an age of the blossoming of true humanity is dawning. Okay, this was quote for today, and so interesting. The world is waiting now. The world is waiting now for true people to emerge, who are able to live for the sake of others. Yeah, people like uh, those who meet here, <laughs> who pray for others. <laughs> yeah, thank you very much. Let's go now with the prayer chain and divide the uh, Sailaja from. Uh, India, with a powerful prayer for peace and some Sanskrit. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste from India. Hi, Arina. Hi, Nicole. And uh, I don't know, Honda Hiroku. Welcome to the prayer. Jane? Hello. Yeah. So basically, Hello, like uh, yes, hi. I been long. So basically, we thank God that he has given us food, health, and uh, clothing because of which we are able to pray for others and meet up for them. Thank you for that, that you kept us all safe and sound over last night. And we've done our trip today. And as the day ends, we in India, it's 10 in the night. As we retire to bed and wake up for a better morning, we pray that there be peace across the globe and we wake up to a very positive and cheerful day. To get that, what is important is that everybody should be fulfilled in terms of food, shelter and education and uh, uh, clothing, which is important. If you don't have any of these, peace will not be the outcome because we need to strive ourselves or somehow get the food, the health or the clothing or the shelter because the natural calamity like rain, sun, winter, we have to fight all that. Then only mental peace will happen. If we have to survive first and then think about others in doing this goodness, it is important that God gives us the basics and he must be trying to give us. It's only that we are not able to get the right direction from him or we are not doing something because of which we've been suffering 
in the last one decade in terms of technology we become addicted to technology we have lost uh, family get togetherness we have lost social grooming everything has become on technology we just do a video call we type or we just uh, celebrate via virtual world in which we leave the human touch so only people who are blessed with technology are getting this what about the people who are on the road fighting for them they do not have technology they don't have the sense of uh, feeding for themselves learning themselves somebody has to groom them train them and for that we need resources without resources only wanting to have peace is very difficult the leaders have to be very proactive in this they have to come out and do goodness they if they inculcate goodness in the society that is when we are able to give that if they are only wanting money then we all are fighting for survival because inflation is growing up in india there lot of the petrol prices are high and there is unrest in the life all together so till we get that satisfaction within and till we are in a very comfortable position we will not be able to or do what we have planned to do for others or what we want to give to others no matter how much i want to help the neighborhood i cannot do that till my hands are full otherwise i will keep striving to get the things what i am wanting to get for myself so this is applicable to each one of us if we have problems at home we first want to solve those problems we can't leave those problems aside and go and do some business outside it makes no sense it is very important that we need to have a peaceful atmosphere at home like yesterday what nick had read the peace at home will lead to peace at family the peace in family will lead to the tribe the tribe will lead to the community the nation and then globally so this is that vicious circle what we are following and for which we need we need that uh, blessing from god so that he can give us what we want from him. he must bless us with abundance so that we can do if not us anybody else i we should not see suffering sir one suffering then peace will be the outcome we are all fighting because of the uh, suffering or unrest in our mind so we need to come out of it and we need to have rested at mind and peace and go and uh, have a very satisfied and content life so that to be internal content internal peace meditation religious belief follow anything but follow something very truly that that will be the uh, that will lead us to the path or vision of our peace what we are planning to get so we can i pray for every one of us there in our family this family mondas family everybody be blessed with uh, health wealth and prosperity they and wish that they all continue to do some goodness in the way they want to do and my own family be blessed with good health and prosperity so that we can also do something what we intend doing the, the pandemic has somewhere halted it but i think there will be always a new beginning and believe that there is end of light at the end of the tunnel so we just need to give it give ourselves time and move on with what is there and try and do whatever we are best at and deliver the best thank you so much this is my big prayer for today thank you very much namaste <laughs> thank you thank you so much okay sailaja uh okay uh, erina welcome please say a powerful prayer for peace from uh, uganda africa thank you thank you yeah let us pray good evening our most precious heavenly parent the creator of heaven and earth and all the things that are in it. Good evening, our beloved two parents, the parents of heaven and earth and all humankind. We salute you, all of you, our good saints and sages who, are, who have lived on earth and have brought about a good foundation for us to understand our beloved heavenly parent. Thank you, Father, for today, for gathering us here again as a team that is praying for peace on earth, global peace, Father. It is good indeed for us 
to hope for global peace because everybody, all the saints who were sent here on earth, they all desired that we all live as one brother, one sister, one family on earth. So Father, we still carry on this hope. And we know that Father, as our two parents live on earth and they have told us that we should have peace by 2027, we are working towards that. And we pray that Father, this message of having peace by 2027 can spread around the globe. We want Father, all our leaders, religious, political, economical, and cultural, all of them to understand the urgency of attaining peace on earth so that we don't have wars like Ukraine and Russia, so that we don't have divisions like North and South Korea, so that we may live together as one, caring for each other. Right now, Father, as we read in the reading today, there are so many problems, problems of corruption, problems of cheating, problems of misfortune, ill health, Father, all those are problems that are caused by the satanic world. But we want to pray that this world can change so that we may have a heavenly world, Father, so that we may go back and understand what you wanted us to have from the Garden of Eden, Father. You gave us everything. Sister Sailaja has prayed that we are grateful that you give us food, you give us shelter, you give us clothing, you give us love and you give us hope. Father, we still pray that these things can be expanded to everyone on earth so that we have a healthy, positive world that is living for one another, Father. Father, we want to be good in our hearts. Father, we want to make you happy. And we know that when you created the world, your vision was to have happy children, filling up the whole world, living together, but we have disappointed you. Instead, we even kill each other. Father, nobody has the right over life of another. Only you, only you. But here we are killing in the name of a greed, in the name of a, um, having sovereignty. Father in heaven, we really repent for all these things. And we pray that soon, every parent, people can come together, especially under the family. The family has been attacked. Nowadays, our families, instead of having a good family headed by father and mother, there are many single mother families. There are many single father families. And the children who are being raised up that way, they lack something, Father. So we pray that God in heaven, let first and foremost, all families be united and also encourage each other in making children who can grow up in purity, especially our youth now, who are going to be the future leaders, Father. We pray for them, this generation, let it work hard, let it understand your will, Father. Father in heaven, Thank you very much for tonight. And for the many nights that you have given us in prayer at this time. And we truly thank our brother Nikolai for starting this program because Father, it is giving us spiritual enhancement each time we come here to pray for peace. And we also are learning more about countries that are doing well, Father. Although there are many countries which are not doing well, so we pray, Father, please unite us. Please bring about equal equality, especially in the economy. There are many people in poverty, Father. Let the rich countries learn how to give the poor so that we may learn also to live a standard of equality, Father. Thank you, Father, for this age of the woman. Father, we know the women are on the front line. So we pray for all the women in this world to understand you. Women always had that heart of believing in God. Father, even when Jesus died, it's the women who discovered him. Father, please, please, we pray that all the women can use their God-given natural uh, attributes to make a world a better place. 
Thank you, Father. Thank you for the brothers and sisters on this forum. I pray for Sailaja and her family. I pray for Honda Hiriko who, from Korea. I pray for those brothers who have been with us, Senaula, Grace, Amos, Betty, Preston, and Amit, and many others. And many of them are now playing on, praying on offline. Father, we pray for all of them. Let us please bring our voice together so that you can hear it. One by one makes a bundle, they say. Let us also do a bundle on this program so that we can really voice out our desire and hope for peace. Thank you so much. I pray and thank you truly and faithfully in the name of Martin and Dina Tanyi, a blessed central family. Aju, aju, aju. Thank you, Arina. Yeah, thank you very much, Irina. Aju, really, may God did it. <laughs> okay, please join my prayer too. Uh, dear Heavenly Parent, uh, we are so thankful to you that we are meeting here in you direct presence. And we are going now in the new age, as Messiah Second Coming said that, and uh, we live in this golden age uh, that uh, is uh, you direct presence and you direct dominion. And then uh, everything that was till now, um, uh, everything that was evil that's supposed to be vanished out and purified. Dear Heavenly Parent, uh, I pray for families, for families who get in this forum, Salara family in India, Asia, and the uh, Irina family in uh, Uganda, uh, Africa and uh, uh, Hiroko in Korea, dear family parent, I, I pray uh, that uh, also we are in Europe, we unite uh, three continents here and uh, we united spiritually. And we know that everything is interconnected spiritually because um, and our mind is very important and is uh, most important because it's 95% uh, from the, our life. Everything is going inside out. So uh, our body is just a little bit function uh, and, fu and uh, doing and uh, just function what his mind is doing. So therefore we know that we are interconnected in this mind and the, the, um, uh, this internet era that is connecting people globally in this network is just a reflection of the mind connection in the spiritual world that, that we are so much connected, interconnected. We are like, uh, you said uh, from the second coming that we are one big human body and every cell is interconnected. Every cell have clear purpose and everything is going just perfectly. Just we humans supposed to purify ourselves, dear heavenly parent. And uh, therefore I pray for leaders. I pray for world leaders, for those who have power, for those who uh, uh, have wealth and those who uh, just they uh, have science, others who have information and all other powers that they have, all these leaders, they uh, get this you grace. They get it because now is the time of Messiah's second coming and they're supposed to unite with Messiah's second coming and help Messiah's second coming. Uh, therefore, we pray, dear Heavenly Parent, uh, for, um, that you can forgive us for these sins that is going on on the planet, dear Heavenly Parent. And we see that this is big, uh, um, uh, disturbing uh, dysfunctionality because from one part you develop the world at maximum goodness and from our world uh, the evil is developing much more uh, as is going the wars and brothers that kill other brothers. And without any, uh, um, without any reason, any serious reason, there is no any reason to kill other people. And there is also uh, also big shame for this because uh, th this is one big family. All of them are you, God's children, and they they don't know yet about this. And therefore, we want to testify about you and say everything uh, that you are doing this global purification. And uh, now purification is going that the people see the mo most sins and others, but. Um, uh, it's supposed to be opposite, as Jesus said, please look in your eyes. So uh, we're supposed to see in ourselves what is our um, sins and purify them. And also, as um, we read today's words, 
uh, you inspire us that the world is is waiting for new leaders for true leaders for those who will um, be leaders with true love dear heavenly parent and therefore everyone seven billion plus people on earth uh, or everyone supposed to work on purification uh, from the sins daily as we washing ourselves or washing the teeth two times per day and we feed ourselves the same we're supposed to uh, purify our soul and we'll also be supposed to um feed our soul with the good deeds with good uh, um good thoughts good speech and good uh, relationships and and good deeds dear heavenly parent uh, therefore i pray now for the biggest celebration that is coming out globally um maybe this is the 10th anniversary of the same hour of true uh, true father and messiah and coming and uh, in the jesus time also jesus wasn't uh, so much uh, advertised but uh, after the that uh, in 2000 years he built uh, this world of um, uh, brotherhood um, uh, global uh, democracy and uh, this is not uh, just uh, the last step uh, we supposed to build the heavenly kingdom the world of peace by 2027 as messiah and god inspire us also we pray for the purification of our ancestors the 12th of august there will be the global ancestor liberation seminar and uh, some of us will participate there and we invite all others to purify the um their ancestors to to inspire them to take them for the hell and uh, send them to 100 day seminar and to become absolute good spirit and receive marriage blessing to live an eternal love with you dear heavenly president uh, as this topic we raised today let's pray for youth for future generation they will be the leaders of the this world and we want to pass them just the best just the pure and just the goodness and the, therefore we are so rushing now for the global peace by 2027 uh, dear heavenly parent uh, i really pray with sincere heart for everything and bring this nine um um august 2020 to as a pure offering uh, let everything what we do today goodness let it multiply as you said in the bible that uh, up to uh, many generations and everything what uh, was difficult let it purify not in seven generation but more quickly to become a uh, uh, good uh, and good fertilizer for new future dear heavenly parent i pray all of this and uh, pray one more time for everybody who join online and also offline who will join and see this uh, uh, through the internet uh, please uh, bless them and save them and give new ideas how to move forward dear heavenly parent thank you one more time for everything what you do for us uh, we just grasp we see just five percent of what we receive from you but you are doing 95 percent of the job behind the scenes for every human being and also for humanity at all and also even for spiritual world and also for for future and for the purified the past so we are so grateful for this and please receive this uh, short report i pray in my name as nikolai serpala center blessed family adieu amen 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 adieu adieu thank you thank you thank so you much. Nikolai. Yeah, when we discuss about, I, 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 I uh, how to, I get the idea. Maybe we could pray this week for the peace and leaders because anyhow, all leaders are criticized by the press, by the media. Some of them are doing different things, but anyhow, let's pray for them that God will inspire them because everybody have like original mind <laughs> from God. Okay. 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 <laughs> See you. Bye bye. Bye bye. Love you. Thank <laughs> you. Bye bye. bye. Best. God bless bye. you. Bye bye. Stay happy, healthy. See you tomorrow. <laughs> okay. Bye. Bye.